Welcome guys. Today we'll be looking at order of operations and let's just go through the, the notes part of it before we do the calculation. Now order of operations states that whenever we are given multiple operations, well first of all operations are basically these. Addition Subtraction Division Multiplication So basically these are four main types of operations, right? However, we have a special order in which we do it, do it when we have multiple operations so the rule states that we must do the power first. So if a number is raised to an index, we do the power part first. Next, if there's a bracket, we do the bracket next. If there's no bracket, we go to multiplication or after we do the multiplication. We go to multiplication, then division, then addition and subtraction loss. So basically, this is, these are the terms: power first, bracket, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And this is very critical, guys, especially for 7th graders, however, for CSEC also. So, let us look at some examples. Say we have, and a lot of students get these wrong, you know, trust me. So, we have 2 plus 5 multiplied by 3. Now, students are sometimes tempted to say 2 plus 5 is 7 and 7 3 is 21. However, following order of operations, we must multiply first. So, even though we have 2 plus, we multiply. So, it's to the 5 times 3, 15 plus 2. So, the answer is 17. So guys, we must follow the order of operations. Let us look at the next one. So let's say we have 3 plus 2 times 5 minus 10. So we must do the bracket first. So 2, 5, 10. With sub addition and subtraction, they are commutative. So it doesn't matter which you do first. So we can just add to so 13 minus 10, that give us 3. Or uh, if we add said 10 minus 10 is 0, 3 plus 0 will be 3. So with addition and subtraction, it's commutative. So it's, it doesn't matter the order, all right? With addition and subtraction. Both of them are basically the same in terms of R. So let us look at some, there's this thing that goes up around on Facebook, where they have the 5 times 5 divided by 5 minus 5 addition 5 and people. What we need to do is just the order of operation to solve it. Right. Let us look at this one. Subtraction. Well, actually, give you guys in the order, and it's not my question. Is I got it on online, right? What they actually did was to put it in the order. So even if once you do it in the order, 
So multiplication first. You couldn't actually get this wrong. Divide by 2 plus 3 minus 2. So it would be divide, you get 5 plus 3 minus 2. So it would be 8 minus 2. So therefore, the answer is 6. All right, guys. All right, let us look at this one. I have to go and find one that is much more challenging. All right, guys. So we have 10 divided by 2 plus 3 in the bracket times 4 plus 5 squared. Now, as I say, we do the power first. So this would be 25. Let us just do step by step. Now, the bracket, we add the bracket and we get 5. So, let us take out the bracket now. So, it will be 10 divided by 5 times 4 plus 25 minus 9. So, we're going to just go back and check and see what the rule says that we are supposed to do. Now, in America, they have a thing where they say you do the division and subtraction from left to right. So if the division comes before the multiplication, you would divide first. Uh, are, there's a lot of debate about that. This is an American question also. So we can just say divide first. So 10 divided by that would be 2 times 4 plus 25 minus 9. Now, of all operations leave, we multiply first. So, 2, 4 would be 8 plus 25 minus 9. So, basically, this is 24, right? Because this will give you 33. And then you get 24. So, the answer would be 24. Alright, guys. Let us look at this one. We have 5 minus 7 times 55 divided by... Now, we must work the bracket first. So, this is fairly easy. So, this gives us 5. This will give us minus 2 times 5. So, that will be negative 2 times 5 would give us negative 10. Remember, a negative times a positive gives us negative always. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends.